Hey, hey, what's up? Um, yeah, coming at you from the great indoors today. Uh, yeah, the trip has just been full of incredible, uh, unfortunate, series of unfortunate events, many of them self-inflicted. But, uh, yeah, so right after my last video uh, that I filmed of the dog and I sledding on uh, this little snow patch that still remained in the area we're hiking in, uh, I crossed the creek, tiny little creek, had one big rock in it, and I fully committed to that rock. It looked like a big rock, but I guess I'm a big boy. I'm a big stone. Big stone meets big rock. <laughs> and that rock moved, and uh, yeah, I fell really hard. I had the camera in my pocket. I had a protector on it, like it's got a case. Uh, it didn't look smashed, but when I turned it on, uh, it was just totally fucked. <laughs> so anyway, was that your phone? Yes, I turned it off. There are other people in the room making. That was, that was quick, though. That was quick. Okay. That was quick. Anyway, um, yeah, it's awkward talking at this volume with other people in a hotel room. Um, yeah, anyway, continuing on. Let's keep going. Uh, I've restarted this video multiple times already, um, mostly because of this glare that you keep seeing in my glasses. But, uh, yeah, it's the only light source in the room at the moment. So, yeah, so I broke the camera. So all the cool little outdoor videos that I was hoping to do. Um, yeah, that went down the toilet. It's $600 camera, so I'm not, I mean, the last couple of videos I put out with incredible scenery and, uh, you know, doing cool stuff out in the, out, outdoors in my favorite place, you know, got really no interest. So, uh, I'm a little hesitant to drop another $600 to get a camera to replace this one. So I don't know where we go from here, but... Um, for a while, I'll keep putting out uh, some videos just talking to my computer. Um, hopefully, uh, you know, the audio and, and video is decent enough to at least have some interesting discussions and, and uh, just kind of keep you guys up to date with what's going on. So anyway, uh, we had an awesome time at that area, and then um, <clears throat> and I didn't get injured from that fall at all. It just broke the camera. So, um, but a gust of wind uh, blew the car door shut really hard. We were parked on a hill, and yeah, it was like quadruple gravity slammed uh, my wife Andy's knee in the car, and uh, she's been kind of crippled by that ever since. It's nothing serious. It's just a bruise, but uh, it's a really bad bruise, like a can't walk bruise, so... She's been sidelined. Um, she can be at camp, and we have done some camping, uh, but it's pretty boring, you know. She's like sitting in the car, like you know, messing around with her adult coloring books, like mm, fun, <laughs> awesome. So yeah, so we've done some hoteling, and um, that's been just outrageously expensive. Colorado in the summer is not cheap at all, so yeah. We're, we've racked up like $3,500 or something in hotel bills this month. And we didn't even stay here half the month. So that's pretty, pretty pricey. Um, so there's that. And then, um, yeah. So anyway, we're, we're trying to get it all figured out um, and kind of plan, plan our, our next move. Right now, we're just kind of waiting to see when... She's up and running again, can actually get out and hike. As we've talked about in all these conversations that we have, you know, camping is not fun without lots of hiking. Like, you need a, you need a lot of outdoor activity. You need something to take up several hours of the day. And if you're, you know, if you can't do that, uh, it's like being in outdoor prison, you know, <laughs> like... It's, uh, it's not that comfortable. There's mosquito bites. If you're sitting outside, you know, there's flies, you're getting sunburn. You know, all that stuff is fine and dandy if you are only there half the day and um, you're in a nice relaxed state from going out and exerting yourself really hard every, you know, all day long. Then, you know, hey, it's no big deal. 
but all day, every day without a break is, uh, is pretty brutal. So anyway, that's kind of the status. Uh, also, uh, to get to that awesome place where I broke the camera and my wife crushed her leg, uh, I did manage to do $5,600 worth of damage to her car. So uh, that's, that's pretty sweet. Uh, it's a 10 mile road roughly, so $560 of damage per mile. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say that that's, uh, that road is probably a little rough for our vehicle. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, the, the road's always been bad. I've driven a lot of vehicles over it. And uh, yeah, it's, the road's gotten a lot worse. And once you go over a couple of things where the car bottoms out and you're like, ooh, shit, man, that really, you, you don't want to go back over it again. You keep, you're hopeful that, okay, those first, those two things that we went over that killed the car, hopefully there's not any more of those. And I'm sure as shit not going to turn around and go over it again after we just went over it. So that's kind of how that happens. You know, once you've gone over a couple things, you shouldn't. Uh, there's kind of like no going back. So anyway, we completed the loop and um, there were plenty more rough patches, but I do think the worst patches were probably two or three miles in. Um, and once we crossed those, we're like, dude, I, I don't want to go back through that again. So anyway, insurance is going to cover that, I think. Um, finding out about all that, filing my first insurance claim of my life. 30 years of driving without having to file an insurance claim. But uh, yeah, one, one taking a vehicle on basically an ATV road. Uh, yeah, not a good idea. So yeah, we had these huge exorbitant expenses. We're way over budget. We were way over budget for June uh, because of quite a bit of uh, gear that we bought and stuff. And then way over budget for July now. And uh, this kind of adventurous and affordable uh kind of plan that we put together is anything but but we're still dedicated to to giving it a shot and sticking it through and hopefully getting back on track with the original plan which was not to be just sitting around at the car all day um, but be out backpacking specifically and bringing out you know all the telecommunication stuff to stay connected and being one of the first people to actually go out you know, sort of as, you know, remote workers, digital nomads, whatever you want to call us, um, you know, out into the true backcountry to do this. I still have aspirations to do that, despite the bruised, the bruised knee and, and uh, the, the broken car that we now have to wait a week or so for some parts to be delivered. So, yeah, we're kind of just in limbo at the, at the moment and uh, burning through a ton of cash. And uh, but we're still hopeful that in August we can get things back on track a little bit here. Uh, on the bright side, the dog is great. Uh, the dog is just like an outdoor beast and makes hiking so much fun. And um, yeah, I've done some like really great hikes with the dog and I uh, went swimming the other day for the first time, threw a stick out there, went out and got it. I mean, for a 12 year, 12 week old puppy to be retrieving sticks out of a pond and like just like you should see it like just you know climbing over logs and and jumping up on big rocks and I don't know I'm, I'm very impressed with the dog the dog's the sweetest dog ever and uh, we seem to have contained its shit eating which uh, was kind of like the big that was the asterisk next to the, wow, this dog's really great, <laughs> but <laughs> it eats shit constantly. Uh, yeah, we've seen to have toned that down by feeding it uh, a lot more food and a lot better food with a lot of variety. So it's getting, you know, tons of chicken, beef, Greek, ro uh, Greek yogurt, a few vegetables thrown in there, potatoes, rice, bagels, <laughs> like all this, all this awesome food. And uh, some good little like collagen based chew toys that it's just devouring. And uh, yeah, the dog, you know, as I was hoping, is no longer super attracted to the delicious taste of shit. It now seems to be uh, on board with uh, it's it's a food snob now. You know, it's it's had the the glory of eating the, the cuisine of Chef Matt. And now he's uh, now he's a food snob. He's a food critique. 
But uh, yeah, anyway, that's where we at. That's the status. I have several videos that I've been wanting to make, but with a broken camera and just kind of being in limbo. Haven't made them, but I have some interesting stuff that I want to bring up. There's obviously stuff that's going on with politics right now is absolutely hilarious, and um, I can't wait to make a video about that. I have an interesting video about uh, vitamin A that I wanted to bring up. I was having some night blindness issues, and I wanted to uh, talk about how uh, I seem to have made those go away without eating vitamin A. Because uh, I was thinking, oh shit, you know, all these years of no vitamin A, I'm finally running into some of those classic telltale deficiency symptoms. And uh, yeah, uh, to my surprise, that wasn't really the case or the culprit um, from what I can tell so far. Um, and then, uh, yeah, just kind of status report in general. I think one of the things that are, that's keeping us really motivated to continue is the fact that it's... Uh, you know, it's working, you know, like I feel better. Uh, I've lost quite a bit of weight. You know, I've got about, you know, this much farther, like on the belt, uh, that I've, that I wear, uh, just from so much of a decrease in waist circumference. Uh, and we've only hiked, I, I figure we've hiked about 25 miles in 40 days, something like that. So it's not like we're out there just like, you know, hiking 10 miles a day and I, uh, you know, lost an over an inch off the waist or something, you know, just from being out and, you know, fetching water, putting up the tent, taking down the tent, stuffing the sleeping bags, gathering firewood, washing dishes, going out of the Creek for water. I think I said that already. Um, just like all the camp chores and like the small activities and a little bit of hiking on top of that, walking the dog a little bit, uh, just real basic, easy stuff that is happening naturally. It's not, you know, it's not like, oh, I got to motivate for this big workout. It's just, just the change in lifestyle alone has been sufficient enough to be um, like really powerful in terms of, of that. So I'm, ha I'm happy about that. I feel like the health benefits are still there. Um, even though we haven't been able to be like true backpacking, but I'm, I'm eager to give a more thorough update on that as well. I don't want to jinx anything, um, you know, by claiming victory too soon, but, uh, but yeah, things in that regard are going well. So we're excited to get through this rough patch, hopefully, and get back on track. And, uh, yeah, I'll make some videos on the, the old laptop here for a while and, keep pondering whether I should get a new camera to be filming more of the walk and talk style with, uh, you know, scenery behind me and stuff like that. All right. Sound good. Uh, talk to you guys soon.